premium hike has been a major topic on the campaign trail, but a bigger spotlight now shines on the continued investigation into Hillary Clinton's private email server. Hannah Daniels explains how the Trump campaign has pounced on the findings. Hillary Clinton crisscrossed the battleground state of Ohio Monday, trying to put the focus back on Donald Trump. I want you to be able to say, I voted for a better, fairer, stronger America. Yesterday, FBI agents began scrubbing through what could be hundreds of thousands of emails belonging to top Clinton aide Huma Abedin, searching for messages that came from Clinton or may contain classified information. The emails were found on Abedin's estranged husband, Anthony Weiner's laptop. There is no case here. Clinton's campaign is accusing FBI Director James Comey of a blatant double standard for disclosing this probe to Congress, but staying silent on its investigation into the Trump campaign's alleged ties to Russia. He's in a tough spot, and he's the one who will be in a position to uh, defend his actions in the face of significant criticism. Campaigning in Michigan, Trump praised Comey. It took guts for Director Comey to make the move that he made. Before using the FBI director's decision to blast Clinton. If Hillary is elected, she would be under protracted criminal investigation, likely followed by the trial of a sitting president. With the election just one week away, the Justice Department says it will commit all resources necessary to review the emails quickly. Hannah Daniels, CBS News. Trump will give a speech about the Affordable Care Act in D.C. today and then head to Pennsylvania. President Obama will campaign for Clinton in Ohio. And new this morning, the latest national polls. Clinton has a three-point lead over Trump in the latest Rasmussen poll. That lead six points in a new survey from NBC News. Most polls show the race tightening as we are exactly one week from Election Day.